Hello everyone, it's Tsunami here making a video after five centuries. <clears throat> I actually just wanted to do a quick tutorial on this incredibly cool tool to add to your USTing repertoire. I'm trying to sound all fancy here. <clears throat> so, anyways, Pochichu over on SoundCloud figured this out, or maybe he was inspired by somewhere else, I don't know. <clears throat> but it's a way to make your Utau growl without Utau growl. Now, if you haven't even heard of Utau Growl yet, it's sort of a resampler add-on thing. I'm unable to use it, as you can see I'm on a Mac right now. Story being that um, our PC in our house, you know, exploded. I needed a computer for school, so they said get a Mac. <clears throat> we now have a good PC in the house again, but I'm not allowed to touch it because it's my mom's. But anyways, this is what Utau Growl sounds like, sort of. I couldn't find a super amazing sample, but this one demonstrates it well. <clears throat> Basically by, after you use Utau Growl, you regulate screaming and shouting and growling with the W flag. It's incredibly cool, an amazingly useful tool. No longer do you have to record these really painful to record banks to do this. However, there's downsides to Utau Growl. Being that, that's what it sounds like, and plus, um, if you're on a Mac like me with Utawa Synth, you can't use it, because Utawa Synth is, face it, really freaking stupid, it needs to update, and it needs to support other things, and it's very frustrating to be a user of Utawa Synth. I'm just gonna pray it doesn't crash during everything we do today. Well, here's the thing I did using this new growling method. Here's a, there's only two notes that have it, but it's a section. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just heard screaming on two notes, without Utau Growl, on Utau Synth. And actually, it's incredibly useful. <clears throat> so, let's open up Utau... This is Utau Synth, if some of you have never seen it before. And right around here is where you can see where the growl is. Now it's actually very, very simple to use. <clears throat> so let's take it off. <clears throat> so here's our plain note. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of a shouty voice bank. <clears throat> it's really clear. They hit the audio peak when recording him. So it's just sort of a boring thing. So first step. Let me delete the flags real fast on it. Is well, this method works on both Utah Synth and Utah PC. In Utah PC, what you would do is right click, go to pitch, so you can get to the vibrato menu. What you have to do in synth is hit K on your keyboard, go to vibrato, which we're already on, activate it. Um, generally, it'll be blank, so you'll hit reset. And then here is the big one cycle. You also have cycle on entire PC. What you do there is you type in 12. That is what Pochichu suggests. However, I suggest going a step even further and making the length of the vibrato 100%. Now hit apply to selection. Well, you have to get off of the thing before it applies. Oh, darn it. And you can see now, if you zoom in real close, it has a very strange looking line on it. And here's what it sounds like. It's got a growl. It's incredibly useful. Unfortunately, however, when you export it to Mix, you might notice I can't really hear it anymore. The solution for that is to increase the depth. That looks really freaking scary, I know. But it actually sounds really good. It doesn't really make it, like, Normally when you make the depth of vibrato way too huge, it starts sounding really off-pitch and horrible, but this doesn't do that, it just makes the growl louder. So, by increasing how big the growls are, you can finally hear it and affect whether, you know, they're intense or not. Now there's other steps to make them even more effective, however. What I like to do is, in note properties, I'll add a G flag between 5 and 10. Because when, you're gr when a singer growls, <clears throat> their voice kind of goes deeper for that moment. No, the other one sounded better. 
making it the regular pitch just isn't as effective. Also, when pitch bending these things, I have found that the most effective way to pitch bend them is to have these very extreme pitch bend curves start around the beginning, where you sharply come up into a step onto the note. Or in this one, I sharply come down onto a step. It's basically the most effective way I've found of making it, the note sound even more extreme. And normally that would sound really freaking horrible <clears throat> with other notes, but it just doesn't with this method. Now, there are downsides to this. It, unlike Utao Growl, which utilizes a flag and otherwise leaves everything fine and dandy, this uses your vibrato. If you want, um, if you want a note to be growled and have vibrato, you're gonna have to pitch bend with the pitch bend point, the vibrato, because your vibrato is taken up by this new growling method. Um, let me see, I think there was one other downside. Um, I don't know if Utaro Growl you can control it in any way other than the W flag. So I guess as an advantage of this, you can control where on the note it is, where it gets stronger, where it gets weaker, everything like that. It's, and I think it's better than Utaro Growl in a sense, because with Utaro Growl, you're depending, let's say you make a USD like I am, I'm always concerned about these things, and you release it with Utao Growl parts. However, people cannot use those Utao Growl parts unless they have Utao Growl properly put on their computer. So, with this, however, any resampler, any USD, any Utao can use this method. Anything. And I've tested it on a couple of Utaos. It sounds great on all of them. Um, basically, this method is the best method for making it everyone be able to use it. Which is, Utaro Growl is probably better to use if you're making individual covers, but as a UST maker, this was a huge concern of mine, and this solves that concern. And, by the way, I just realized, my voice sounds really yucky because my fancy Yeti mic is out of commission at the moment, so I'm using the built-in Mac mic, which is not so hot. But, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you enjoy growling with your Utaro. The only advi other advice I would give for using it is do not spam it. When every single note has the growl on it, it doesn't sound as good unless you're doing like a screamo section. Just have it be that occasional note. It doesn't sound very good on long notes either because when you do a gr when the real singers do a growl, it's a very momentary thing that generally happens at the start of a note or over the course of a short note, which is why it's so effective in these sections. But it would sound really gross if I put it on a really long note because it just isn't as realistic. So, this is a tutorial. Hopefully I didn't ramble my butt off too much. I hope you understood how to use this. It's very, very easy. Incredibly easy. And a must to add to your repertoire of UST editing skills. Hope you enjoyed.